Okay. So now the, great. So now you will have to admit the people too, right? Did you make because me a co-host? I, I made you co-host, okay. uh, oh, a host. Okay. I don't know what. And I can make you, <laughs> um, I can still make you co-host. Did the, did I make you host or co-host? <laughs> um, I think I made you host. Host, yeah, yeah. It says Lily Gundeke host. <laughs> okay, maybe there isn't a co-host option on the... Is, it, is this computer. a private Zoom? Is this just a, a private Zoom? It's my own Zoom, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because on a professional one, you can have co-host, but probably... Ah, okay. Then I will need eventually... <laughs> Because the host has disabled participant to share screen. <laughs> Eventually, okay. at some point, I will need to share my screen. Okay, to then show. I will, uh, that option is now available. I made it available for everybody. Okay, great. <laughs> Good. I relinquished my hostess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think... Um, Everybody had the nice celebrations of uh, New Year. And um, perhaps, shall we ask someone to, to, to pray to start the year, actually? I, I, um, before that, did you, were you last night, Elizabeth, at the, at the thing? Me too? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> but not, not Guru me, no. <laughs> Yeah, we were uh, good at that. Were there? Oh, my. Yes, yes. <laughs> Very courageous of you. <laughs> no, because uh, it, it takes more energy to get ready to be there, you know, to yes. be really there. To um, be always uh, sitting there. Yes, yes, the, yes, yes. No yes. moving. Okay. So um, perhaps I will ask Marcia if she likes to pray for us. Yes. Short okay. pray. Yes. Uh, good morning, Heavenly Parent. Good morning, true parents, brothers and sisters. Uh, thank you for this new day. We have already in 2023, a new year that we hope we want to make very successful for heaven, successful for Heavenly Parent. And uh, uh, we pray for this meeting, the first meeting of our executive board. And uh, we want to come to good decisions and good conclusions in all that we discussed today. We are ready to start this year investing of our hearts and minds and uh, trying to, uh, to come to to whatever is best for uh, the advancement of your providence in our countries, in this region of Yumi. Thank you for all your blessings that you give us and uh, our uh, hope to be able to multiply these blessings wherever we go. We invite you to uh, inspire us and we offer you this prayer in our names, blessed and central families, adieu. Adieu. Okay. Yeah. So, um, very quickly, anyone would have some, we all had wonderful times, and I'm sure lots of things that we would like to mention, but we have a very heavy schedule. So, if there is any kind of small reports, I think um, Masha has something to say about these reports, to know that they are not um, just for us. <laughs> you wanted to say, Masha? Yes, yes. Uh, so, good morning, everyone. I just, I, it just occurred to me that using this chance that each sub-region is going to share what they have done in their regions, even though if it's a brief sharing, uh, I would like to keep these reports for when we have to prepare our um, six months. Uh, sometimes we are asked right in the middle of the, the year, and of course, at the end of the year, to prepare a, re a report 
uh, for for our region. And so I think I would like to use them. So um, whatever you say here, think about that. And of course I can enhance, we can enhance that, but uh, let's use this. Otherwise we keep asking sisters and you know how many times we have to be asking for this and for that. So let's use this uh, already now, uh, reports every month. And I will try to keep them in an archive, in a, in a folder, yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, one more thing about um, um, taking notes. Kefilip offered to do the first part like last time, but I don't see her. So again, we will have to rely on uh, a recording or if anyone would like to just start until she comes, unless she doesn't come. Uh, well, I just can start if you want. Ah, okay. If she doesn't come, Both. but okay, Marcia. Yeah. No, 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 no. I just no. wanted to say this is something we have to decide as well, Zoe. Yes. About that's right. it. Of course, now Go we ahead. have each month we have uh, one one sister responsible for the meeting, but we could uh, find uh, an alternative way for note taking. So if uh, this time is Zoe, we have Kefiwe, Central Region, and uh, and uh, Renate over. Did you offer Renate? To yeah, yeah, she offered now. Yes, and then we have to think of uh, of volunteers. I can I can be the volunteer for February. I don't know when it's going to be our meeting in February, uh, but then from the South Region. But then we have to to volunteer. So maybe I'll prepare some some uh, a message on on the mail, and uh, we have just to write down our names on the days, as we did for leading the meeting. Yeah, and I had proposed that perhaps if the if the region doesn't have doesn't want to take the notes, somebody else from the region can take through the recording, or admit that person for one time. Uh, we are not having too many uh, private and secret uh, things that we are saying. So maybe someone who is not uh, doesn't belong to the group can take the notes from the recording. If you think it is all right, how do you think of this? It's not so good idea. But I think. Uh... So for this time, uh, what do you want to do? For this, for this time, Renate and you, Brigitte, you. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Why not both? Uh, yeah. And then if Kefile comes, uh, she, she can take over. It means she she said she was um, able to do it for one hour. All so right. if it is one hour from the moment she comes, she may take us to the end to the, of the of the meeting. Uh, well, she, need, she will not come at the end. Just she says she can come from eight thirty to nine thirty, and then she goes to work. Uh, That's what I understood. In case from her, it, for her time now it's uh, eight yeah. forty. Right. So not yet. So I don't know if Renata wants to do it, and then I carry on if you want. Or but... <laughs> thank you. Yeah, okay. both both you you deal to send us something. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So very quickly. Hi, Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> um, to... yes, Alessandra is also Alessandra Irmgarden. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Wow. Okay. Uh, Renate has a, a, anyone has some uh, uh, reports from the past month? The eventful Christmas month, December? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, make this. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, I, I'm, of course, I'm new at this. Smithy said uh, to prepare three slides with some main points from the different countries. Is, is that what I'm going to do or? Uh, if you want, yes. Or, yes. or shall I, I can, I have, I can just list up, maybe that's easier. 
Um, so it is um, from UK. Uh, one thing they did was the annual newsletter, and um, I believe Anne sent out a link to that to everyone. Um, they also had a, a annual Christmas party, which was held in South London. And then she wrote to recognize PPL. I'm sorry, I'm a bit rusty on all these abbreviations. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, for, for their service and sacrifice for the community, plus raise funds for the school in Uganda. So that was the main points from UK. Um, Finland, um, an ambassador for peace asked the uh, uh, Pevi, the uh, Women's Federation president in Finland, to give a speech at this year's Multicultural Independence Day celebration to an audience of 200 people, and many more were online, of course. Mm -hmm. The event was organized by Mo Moni Heli, which is an umbrella organization for multicultural organizations in Finland. And it has over 100 independent associations under it. So, um, and their purpose is to support the immigrants. So that was an amazing thing. In Norway, we are looking ahead and preparing a Easter family retreat, which will be held in Kloten in Sweden. And that's for parents, children, grandparents, whatever. And um, the topic is uh, harmony in the family. So invitations will come and you can bring guests and uh, all the rest of it. In Sweden, um, Viveka Freeland keeps uh, weaving her uh, rugs and selling them as uh, supporting the 1% law project. So that's an ongoing thing. Also in Sweden, they are doing a, a cooperation with young women's groups and companies. And um, already on the 5th of January, um, there will be a seminar um, and uh, with the topic of forgiveness, self-love and abundance. And, <clears throat> it's a company of Britta's daughter, Linda, and and then uh, one of the mm. sisters up in Sweden, and I'm so f no, up in Stockholm, so I, I forgot her name. Um, in Denmark, is also looking ahead, and Mitty, and is it you, Bridget, who is coming with Mitty? I'm not sure who is coming together with Mitty. Uh, to with Mitty, I'm it. going with Mitty. Yeah, okay. In Denmark to Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in uh, in that connection, um, connection we will uh, use the, the, that opportunity to kick off our Nordic uh, cooperation. And we will meet together in Copenhagen and Mm -hmm. um, those who cannot come will be with us on Zoom and we make the plans for the Nordic region. And in Iceland, um, there is a, um, a recent and new leadership in Family Federation, which is, which is a woman. Um, the, I think it was the way the wife of Paul Herman, and who is the leader, but the sister team of three sisters from Women's Federation is supporting her in that mission. So that's interesting. Oh, good. And um, uh, Iceland has, has also been promised a bigger meeting place uh, in 2023, so they can host a, a bit bigger meetings. And that's in a nutshell. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to hear about the Nordic countries. We don't hear often, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. nice. If you're here. <laughs> we, we, I remember a few um, weeks ago, no, more than weeks, maybe last month, we welcomed 
welcomed Parvi, Pavi, Pavi, and now we are welcoming you. Yeah, thank <laughs> With you. this, gradually, uh, we want to see the Sweden. Who is in Sweden? I don't. Uh, Brit Be Birgitta, but she is at work. Brigitte. Ah, so that's Brita. Next oh, time. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Anyone else? Any uh, kind of very short. Um, uh, exceptional things that we have been doing because mm. we have lots yeah, to no, talk no. about Austria. <laughs> yeah, just uh, to in December we had just this one of the biggest events at the end of the of the year, which is uh, uh, to celebrate this uh, Women's International Day. Um, no, women's no violence against women. Yeah, on the twenty fifth of November and also ten of December about. Uh, uh, human dignity. So it was an event uh, where even Caroline uh, sent her message by by video, and it was translated and uh, by yes, uh, a French sister. And then, uh, uh, and then also we had this uh, friend from Caroline, which is uh, Brigitte Polonesky, who spoke uh, very good. She was very well. Uh, um, appreciated, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, she lived in Paris, so therefore she was able to come in in person. So it was in person and in by Zoom, and uh, we had a few from different organizations. So it was quite quite well. We didn't have so many people, unfortunately, in person because on that day there was a strike, as usual in France, <laughs> a lot of strike, and uh, people could not move so much by train. And also, um, it was very cold. So some people prefer to look by Zoom than just moving to, you know, to the cold. But anyway, it was very well to finish, uh, to finish at least a year with this kind of event and to to mark this kind of international day. So I think it was very good. And also, um, we invited also Jacques Marion uh, to share from a masculine point of view. <laughs> And another man as well was shared, who came to speak also from an organization, from a masculine point of view, because we wanted to have this kind of mixture. So it was very, very, very well appreciated. Yeah, uh, that's it. From the other region, I don't have so much, I would say, but the sort I wanted to say yeah. in December what we did, and of course Christmas, we didn't make special celebration. <laughs> Everyone went to their own families and celebrate in different ways. That's yeah, it. thank you. Nice. Um, yeah, any other region? Oh, yes. <laughs> I did my job this time. I prepared a PowerPoint, so I, I would like to share. I will be quick. So, um, yeah. Yes. Okay, I will go quickly. Um, so, uh, yes, yeah, this is Portugal. Oh, they had this um, meeting that is a, is a long time going on meeting. Um, I mean, they have a, a strong connection with the uh, Portuguese language speaking country and uh, with Isabella Costa, they are organizing a next year, I mean, this year, a new webinar on the topic uh, through uh, Future for Peace. Uh, in, in connection with the South Tomain Principe and uh, yeah, the Women Family Federation President is cooperating with that. Oh, then Portugal, in uh, on the third December, they had uh, um, um, uh, Marta uh, was invited to be a speaker in the International Women Federation Conference. Then third uh, December in Spain, they have. They had this uh, 30th anniversary celebration with, uh, I, I believe, uh, a, a nice performance and a lot of activities. And uh, yeah, it was a chance to to meet all the sister and the member in uh, Spacio Ronda, I believe. And then another big event that uh, was held in two days uh, to raise money for Women Federation Ukraine, and I was so surprised they were able to to <laughs> to found it, to reach uh, three thousand euro. Yeah, with the cooperation also of Tongil and uh, I believe some members. But uh, yeah, 
they were selling uh, clothes and the food and uh, so yeah, I, I believe a lot of work behind that. <laughs> um, in Spain, they uh, there was also a special invitation or, uh, from another organization through the help of uh, Marcia. They they invited uh, as a speaker Mary Christine Barla, and uh, so. Uh, that, that's why later we saw her in our Zoom conference, and I understood. Uh, there were um, former president uh, and first lady, uh, prestigious speakers, and so Women Federation was there through this uh, our sister, and uh, uh, Marcia was there, and also Caroline. I understood was, was giving a speech in um, in, uh, in Malta. Yeah. The Mirabel Corlette, uh, they are doing activity with other organization. Uh, time by time, they go and cooperate to to help uh, as voluntary work. And uh, also, they had uh, this, this activity. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, they participate in an event organized by another another organization. And uh, yeah. Uh, attended Christmas even last. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think uh, it's one of the last uh, in Italy. I had the chance to, I mean, I was invited by this organization, Women in Vatican. I was also surprised, thanks uh, to this uh, ambassador of peace that uh, is very cooperating uh, with the uh, Women Federation supporting for the activity. She got the invitation and uh, she invited me also. This is an organization of uh, men are uh, nun, nuns or uh, uh, women working in the Vatican. Uh, some of them are married, but uh, mainly they are devoted to the church and uh, are uh, working in the Vat Radio Vatican, a lot of them. There were a lot of Vatican journalists, or the, the ones who is organizing the trip for the Pope. And so anyway, uh, this kind of people. Also, uh, ambassador, uh, lady ambassador were, were invited, the ones who are in the Vatican. Anyway, uh, there was a presentation then they, this was the first time they invited, uh, they opened to other organization. And uh, in the invitation was written, you, you will be invited to share about your uh, organization. So I had the chance and, um, I did a, a, some kind of spiritual <laughs> topic, and uh, I share my experience also with the religion for peace, the meeting the Pope, and I give some guidance of the role of, the role of women for uh, according to God's will, <laughs> the power we have because we are the feminine aspect of God, and so and so. Some nuns were very inspired, and one of them uh, called me, and we are in, now in connection. And then we had also our Christmas party in Roma. Uh, actually, not so many people came. Uh, I'm so sorry. We have nice, uh, nice location, but far from the city. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the lady who helped me for the women in Vatican, and the other people were there. We raised some money from for Ukraine, but actually, not so much. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this is all. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Wow. Lots of nice activities in Spain, very active. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Other regions? Uh, I, don't know. I, I don't know because from the central region, actually, we did not coordinate. So I don't know if Kefilwe has a report. No, nothing on oh, my side. No, because the only thing I know is that uh, the in Slovakia they had a very nice event on the beginning of December with uh, sisters a meeting, and uh, they sent some pictures. But also, um, I, I had to change my handy, so I even lost those pictures at the moment. Um, I didn't talk with Mark. I'm very sorry. So I have, we have to learn something for next time, Central Region, to, to prepare reports together. And in Austria, we had the 30th anniversary also on the 3rd of December of uh, Women's Federation because we were founded on the 2nd of December 30 years ago. It was a very nice event with uh, about 50 people attending from various cultures. And yeah, 
we reported mm -hmm. about 30 years of activity. So it took some time, but it was very well received. Yeah. So I don't know other things. Yeah, I'm very sorry, but we have to take ourselves by our nose <laughs> to prepare better. What coding. about the UN team? All the, the full force of UN team is here this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in December, there was no uh, uh, UN um, event. A small one, yes, there was a small one, but we just attended there uh, watching. But we are preparing the next side event already because we have to apply in Gen right the next days already for a side event at the CND. This is the Narcotic Drug Commission. And it is, this year we are invited as an NGO to make a side event. Before they did not want NGOs, they just wanted governments to speak. But this year, or government-related NGOs. We are not a government-related NGO, but we are ECOSOC. So this year we can hold a side event. And the topic is um, encouraging youth in uh, becoming part um, yeah, my brain. Uh, become, uh, take, take participate in nation building. So encourage young people to realize we are part of nation building and entrepreneurship, encouraging young people in entrepreneurship and uh, so we are connecting with uh, VFW, uh, Women Federation in Africa, with Susan Kone, to find some uh, projects in Africa, also in Uganda, Kenya, and um, some other programs. And if you know of any programs that are uh, specifically um, targeting use of misuse of narcotic drugs or preventing this misuse, among young people or anyhow, then we will be happy to hear about because they also they always are happy to hear about best practice. What are we doing? What can be done to build a more healthy society? Mm. So this is yeah. This is always like two two three months ahead. This takes place in March, but we have to start with the organizing now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. The this Turkish. Um... And you is yes, always yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. She wrote again problem. yesterday. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, I would have something to add maybe to that. Um, so for us, actually, December was a big, big month, actually. And um, in, Ge in Geneva, but I would say even for our kind of our team between New York, Vienna and, and uh, Geneva, um, we had this big Christmas party. I think maybe you've seen uh, photos. This was more, I mean, of course, my focus now is a lot has to do with uh, NGO CSW in Geneva, but I see it very much as the upgrade of our Women's Federation sort of globally, actually, because the, with, for instance, with this Christmas party, we had this high, high level political leader minister uh, from um, Switzerland, and we had um, UN Women Director, and we had um, we had the CEDAW, Committee on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women, uh, former president and like best member who, she is still a member, but she is the, the one who is really closest to our way of thinking, you know, about things. So it was really, really good that we met together and had, we prepared lunch and little speeches and I was the host and uh, um, because longer term, she actually, and maybe maybe I would mix a little bit my report with the with kind of future things because for our UN office, our big focus this upcoming year and even we thought to 2027 is to, uh, education for our chapters and of course for our UN team too, but in how we can really work better in influencing our governments in fact, and influencing the United Nations. So we're making these connections, for instance, UN Women, she wants to offer some special training that we can, we will host NGO CSW, but it would be inviting all of you, uh, you know, with really some very practical ways to, to work with them and to understand a little bit more how things work in this relationship between NGOs and, and the UN. And um, uh, we have also big uh, events happening, you know, coming up this month in preparation for the CSW. So that, that maybe that would be the announcement I would want to, a reminder I would want to make is that uh, 
There is the CSW 67 coming up in in uh, March, I think from the 7th or something for two weeks, but especially for for the first, maybe the first 10 days or so. And we have this training. Um, of course, we started out by not by saying everyone should come. We wanted to make a little bit more focused training and Julia will come and Sanjanim will come. And But finally, now we were a little bit, we're, we're more open actually to the idea of others coming and especially young people. And we were making a special training on exactly these same points, a training on Women's Federation, really, uh, you know, how do we get in the reports? How do we get into the, the delegations of our nations to in order to go to, for instance, the CSW or the, the Universal Periodic Review of the, of the uh, Human Rights Council? All, this kind of level, actually, we're really trying to to take on more seriously. And um, so if any of you, if there are any of you or anyone in your country, even though I think the deadline is just passed, if there's it's someone- passed long, long ago. Yeah, it's, but it's not it's, it's not really officially passed from the point of view of the, of the, U, of the UN, you know? Mm -hmm. So anyway, if any one of you would have someone that you would like to send um, for this special training, and of course, attending the CSW, like we did in, in the past, there could be a possibility. Maybe you could let me know about that. And um, yeah. and, and maybe also just to quickly to say, we have, we have a group of Korean students coming in February um, to, to come to the UN and we have a special program. Our UN office is preparing for this uh, 15 Korean students. They're not, only two of them are actually second gen. The rest are outside students attending our school. So they're try we're trying to make some nice program for them to, you know, have this experience for their future and also to realize what kind of connections, I guess, you know, we have as an organization. And um, yeah, anyway, anyway, so, so lots of things happening. Also, Zoe, at some point, I... Maybe if I can say something about IAFLP, um, yes. it doesn't have to be here necessarily, but just a little message about what we're looking for, for this, for May actually, huh? And- um, oh, so, Please go ahead, yeah. yeah. Now is the time, yeah. Okay, um, because I don't know if any of you, I know Marcia has someone, I mean, at least someone that she was thinking about, but we're collecting now the names for uh, first ladies, uh, of course, it can be very important women in any field, but especially, I think, uh, anyway, first ladies and top important, in, very important women in your countries that you could imagine might want to come, might be able to come in May to the opening of the Chun Wan Gung and to this ILC, no, not ILC summit. And uh, so if you could, if you haven't already done so through your nations, Maybe if you could send me those names. And Jacques is, um, you know, we're still in the process of collecting. I mean, a first deadline actually is passing soon, but of course May is still a long way off. So we do have some time, but just if you have some names, I don't know, Marcia is, is Mrs. Botea still think, um, still a possibility? You're uh, muted, Marcia. Uh, yes, I can share very briefly, Zoe, about uh, Mrs. Botea, because uh, this event that we had in December, uh, we were invited to speak and Merli represented us. Uh, Merli was at the same panel as Mrs. Botea, the former uh, first lady and uh, former mayor of Madrid. And so this also made it uh, even more possible to, to meet her. And so we had a meeting, Merli and I had a meeting, went to see her at her office. And she was lovely, Caroline. She was really lovely. I'm, I'm addressing Caroline because Caroline ran to have a picture with her and has a beautiful picture with her. And, uh, and so I mentioned, of course, I didn't say anything. We spoke about IAFLP, about first ladies and former first ladies, but... Uh, what I told her was that this uh, event, the summit was going to happen in May, 
and uh, we were planning to invite her and her, her husband. And she, she immediately took note on her agenda about the day she saw, she had a look at it to see if there was no difficulties there. And so um, I gave her name together with her husband's name to Jacques. Good. But of course, she, if she comes uh, for the IAFLP, I think, so let's see how that goes. Yeah. So please, in the, maybe for, for anything like that, for any of you, maybe it's good if you CC um, Mitty and myself for those okay. things that you're doing with, okay. those arrangements that you're making with Jacques, because yeah. it's not clear. But I think like last time, if we have like a good delegation of first ladies, then we might be able to have our own session. For the moment, there is no thought of an IAFLP session but that could easily change. So um, so maybe if in each subregion, if you could just check around in your subregion to see if there are any, um, any possibilities for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, 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 it's good to, <clears throat> I know in Korea, usually they don't have anything special for, uh, a women's Federation of um, yeah IFLP they attach it to the to the uh, head of states, uh, but um, yeah it will be good to have something uh, some because the ladies that was the purpose for which to mother actually made the IFLP that the ladies come together and they form a kind of strength to not only support but to promote things that their husbands maybe don't have the possibility to promote because they are in the forefront. Uh, we shouldn't forget the vision of uh, IFLP. Yeah, it's yeah. very important. Oh, I think also this is, it's really related to the amount of effort that we make on this. I mean, if we take it lightly and don't try, then I think it's, I don't, I mean, I'm meeting with Blessy and all of the, these association chairs every week yeah, so there is uh, some something going on, you know, but uh, we don't know exactly how prominent the role of IAFLP will be for the summit. But but I think it could, you know, it could be strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. From from Austria, uh, Mrs. Mutonen is on the list. She's not the first lady, but she's this lady who was a parliament a leader of the parliamentarians at the OECD, and we uh -huh. had her twice in our. IFLP uh, conference is Magister Christine Mutonen. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so she's she's on the list, but I don't know how um, if she ha she knows anything about it yet because Peter Heide is having her on the parliament list of parliamentarians. She was a founding member of IAPP, but I think once she's there, we can we can talk to her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. anyway, we see how it goes. Mm. Yeah. Perhaps I should. Um ask Mrs. Uh, uh, Christofia if she is willing to make that uh, long trip. She doesn't, oh. she doesn't travel. She doesn't want any, any trip. <clears throat> Last time for, the, for uh, our IFLP, uh, she thought I was inviting her, like in the past, to the summit. Mm. And uh, she says, sorry, I don't travel. It's not, I said, but it's just uh, <laughs> from the picture. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's... Uh, I Maybe Elisabetta, I don't know, can you also check in like with uh, Portugal and I, I mean, it's not that we can invite the people already, but just to already have some idea of who could, who might be able to come. Okay, yes, sure. I will share with Marta also. Yeah. <laughs> if there is and a nice invitation, if we can, uh, if, if there is something that even we can make, you can make, uh, Caroline, and all of us together, we could make something. It, so uh, can, there, I think, I mean, UPF has an invitation, but of course we cannot, we cannot really invite yet. We can only recommend, that's the point. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. And the Gabriella, uh, Gabriella just uh, told me that they are considering by, from U, UPF to, to propose for Emanuela del Rey, um, waiting for the answer. So yeah, let's see. Good. Mm. yeah. You know, Elisabetta uh, Heidi, she 
contacted, she got into the office of the, um, of the prime minister and she received an answer last time for the IFLP, for his wife. So maybe you can ask her, you can communicate with her and see. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shall we move on from my FLP? Any other interesting? Perhaps we can continue now with a um, big topic of um, our trip in Austria. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, Maria was very uh, kind to uh, organize for us Zubenstein. And uh, you want to tell us, Maria, your, uh, the, the terms again? Nice. <clears throat> the house is here, the rooms are empty, and we are preparing, we are waiting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the terms are that um, we, um, we are offered the food and we yes. only have to pay uh, 40 uh, euro yes right? 40 euro for our three days stay which is uh, wow that is very, very kind reasonable. very kind yeah yeah and um, yeah of course i don't know how we will go uh, by plane those who are not uh, close but then uh, from the airport, I have no idea how we can... Uh... From airport is very simple. Every hour is a train to to um, to main station or directly to direction Graz, mm. to the south. Direction Graz and the next station or second station after main... main uh, Railway station in Vienna is Wiener Neustadt. Mm -hmm. And Wiener Neustadt, I can pick you up. Okay. Okay. It's so the, simple. This is the simplest way because I we have no staff. This is just our family, my husband and me and our children. And somehow they have children and they are busy and they are they go to work. So I um, for this I ask you if you can organize to come from airport with the train to Wiener Neustadt. Mm -hmm. I checked, is every hour, three minutes after full hour, like 12.03 and 1.03 is a train direction south and it goes through Wiener Neustadt. Okay. The train. All right. All right. It's pretty clear. Pretty clear. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, we I, can make up a letter. We can write it. I can write it, Maya, and we can send it to the sisters so that they can. Yeah, have it. <clears throat> that would be a good idea. Yeah. 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 And Please leave a number and to reach. Yeah. Also, how soon do you want to know how many people would be arriving? Who would be going there? Yeah, as soon as it's decided. Okay. This is we have we have shop in the near and is no is everything is here yeah so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so perhaps then we could uh, also focus on the schedule on what we will do during yeah. these days most of us will be arriving on Friday I haven't checked any uh, tickets yet I don't know anything the arrival or whatever but. Um, I suppose we should start after uh, lunch on Friday. How, or, or maybe mm. before arrivals on no. Friday anytime, early mo no. in the morning as well? No, the most ladies until now, they will come afternoon. Yes. Friday. Most, yes, most sisters have told me they can come afternoon and we can then we can have some soup or some special or if you wish of course this special dinner welcoming dinner and we can meet and but is i i heard it it yeah it can be like this yeah mm -hmm. so, um, 
So the actual meeting, uh, so it's from Friday evening, and then it's Saturday and Sunday. And yes. Sunday, Sunday afternoon. And then after lunch, we leave. Yeah. Okay. That's what Depending I understood the from meeting. Yeah. Depending on the flights, of course. Yeah. Yeah, it so depends how each one. Uh, and maybe, maybe some people would want to stay on to Monday. Mm -hmm. It's possible. It's not yeah. a possibility. This is possible. If they want to stay until Monday, of course, this is possible. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Just the official, just the official uh, program would start it in the evening on yeah. Friday, and and after lunch. And That's so, right. Mm -hmm. uh, now after for those, dinner. After dinner. After yeah. dinner on Sunday. Mm -hmm. On on Friday. Friday, on Friday. Friday. Yes. Yeah. Arriving for dinner, let's say. Yeah, it depends on the flights always. It's, uh, so I, I didn't understand, Maria, you say we start after dinner. We can start for dinner, like dinner is the inaugural meeting. <laughs> of course, of course. We can, if you come afternoon, we see each other and we can help because we have no staff. So yeah. we are yes, definitely yes. So we can help and we can prepare. I That's can right. prepare something, but you are you can be useful or you can go for a walk. It's totally on countryside. Mm -hmm. It's really peaceful. It's a quiet place. Yeah. Yeah. If we can come early uh, in early enough, I mean before dinner, we can support you or help you for preparing dinner. Yes, yeah, you can the, you can we, see how how I live and how it works here. Yeah, here. yeah. And you can help, yeah. like family. We always we have true. the rule. My husband and me, we, we like in the family. If somebody can help, is so welcome. And if it's too much, you can go for a walk because it's enough. So, <laughs> okay. Like with the children, yeah, like family style. We have no, yeah. This is our yeah, that's nice. Our, uh, mm -hmm. uh, rules, yeah. Yeah, so um, perhaps we can have a, a, a good time together there. We we can um, dedicate a lot of time, not really as a meeting. I don't know how you you see it. Um, we could have some things to discuss. Uh, like, for example, I really would like to, uh, to present uh, about the curriculum. Alexandra... Um, I don't know if she will be able to come or if she, in, if not. Um, but anyway, even if she can't, uh, no, I won't be able to come. Yeah, but I can do it on Zoom. Yeah, if you like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we can also discuss about the technical possibilities. But anyway, no matter the way and no matter who is there, uh, as the um, the the curriculum is shaping very well for all the. The, the modules now, uh, we can quickly make a, a, a real, a, a real uh, program of it and see how we can promote it, how we can, uh, who could train uh, countries to see their usefulness. Uh, I must say, although it started from the Middle East, uh, they, the, they have other, um, they have uh, uh, Marilyn is doing the, the old one, the, uh, the beginning, what she had created, and also she's using Robert Kittles. But these are uh, rather uh, limited. I believe that our uh, ladies of even of the Middle East, the people that we know, the educators that we know, and who are having um, to deal with universities, who are having to deal with uh, clubs of, of uh, ladies, um, in their countries, whether it is in the Middle East or um, in, in Europe or in uh, um, uh, uh, Eurasia, uh, they would benefit very much. It is a very well structured. It starts from uh, educate, education of dignity, then uh, family uh, level relationships in general. Uh, Alexandra is a specialist of uh, 
family relationship. So uh, really, she's uh, going to do very good thing. And the already you know that exists the um, uh, community and um, uh, the, the the third part that this has now become the impact mode uh, from mo um, module uh, of, of, with Caroline and uh, Sruthi and all that. Uh, so it's really a very full, huge thing. <laughs> uh, people can do whatever they like as long as we can systematize it and and secure it. Then we should uh, spread it more. Uh, I know um, uh, Angelica. She has this cornerstone, uh, which uh, people like very much, and I think it is uh, being promoted. And uh, it is very good. It has excellent uh, um, parts, but uh, it doesn't hurt to have another uh, choice, another alternative. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know if. Um, Caroline and uh, Alexandra would like to say something about that. Anyway, we will talk maybe uh, about that at the um, um, at the at the uh, meeting in uh, in Austria, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there is there a place in the program for that, Zoe? Because also, I'm, I I don't know exactly. Um, if I can stay, I don't think I can stay over like for the next day or something. Do you have a plan for? We are making it now. We are making it this moment, the program, yeah. the schedule. Mm -hmm. um, first, uh, just decide this, the issues that we want to touch during this, uh, this okay. day. Um, the idea was we have, uh, okay, on Friday, we have the opening, the, the, the greeting, meet and greet. And then maybe we take um, Saturday for a kind of working day uh, for different uh, subjects. And then after maybe half a day on Saturday and after lunch uh, until maybe we leave, uh, we could have a kind of fellowship, uh, be together, um, yeah, whatever you, you propose. Because the other big topic eventually would be how to encourage um, membership um, in our countries, how to install for some countries like in the Middle East, install the idea of a membership of people, members that are paying. Uh, will it yeah. be, yeah, will it also, Caroline will maybe like to speak more about the program of IFLP or what, uh, something to do with uh, yes. future activities, United Nations, so yeah. what you spoke before. Yeah, absolutely. If, if there was time to make some One little... session would be good, maybe. Mm -hmm. just yeah. Mm -hmm. Some little, some encouragement for, yeah, well, it's if there's time, of course, I would love yeah. to be able to say something about how we're developing in that area and what how it can help all of us in our nations basically yeah right yeah. Mm, absolutely. Have some kind absolutely. Of, uh, yeah. so okay. perhaps it would be good to know um from when to when each one can be there so uh, first of all it would be very helpful for maria but also for the schedule um when uh, yeah, I think the idea of if you have a ticket already, just to send straight away to Maria the information of you, you know, when you arrive and you go. Yeah. I mean, at least, and, and of course, to Miti and uh, CC to Miti as well. And uh, just yeah, that she has an idea of how many people arrive, what time. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's an idea. Mm -hmm. So for the moment, uh, we have um, curriculum. IFLP and uh, membership, right? Can I ask something? Sure. Um, because um, I read from the goals for from the Women's Federation International, they had a long list of plans and goals. And uh, is that supposed to filter down to Europe? Uh, is, is, is that yes. going to be part of what we are going to do also? 
I think so. I, I was thinking that too, Zoe and, and everyone, I'm sure Mitty's thinking that too. You know, we especially we have now these three main lines. Maybe it's good if we have a, a session on each of those lines to see how we're, I mean, they're very broad things actually. So we're, we're already doing all of that, but but in terms of organizing the days, maybe it's it's not bad to to think of it like that. When you mean by three main lines, Sorry. you know, like there there's peace and security, and then there's the environment or something. But, oh, but yeah, yeah. Okay, and okay. especially now education for the environment, which Sanjanim is wanting very much. Yeah. And so we have, the, yeah. Anyway, there are three main. Mm. They announced the the kind of projection for 2022. It was it was almost the same as last year from the international office, except adding this point about environmental education, in fact. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. that's true. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. One yeah. of the best practices in your office. Mm -hmm. This is very good. Yeah. Kasia, mm -hmm. Kasia also. I don't know if Kasia is coming. Is one of the best, best practice in this sense of uh, educational use and environment. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's two, uh, two questions. First is uh, actually who is invited? Just the re sub regional president or, or also national president? Uh, um, mm. Because, uh, yeah, just to, to, to be sure that uh, which is the goal to, to come, people to come. And the second is, uh, I suggest a point like uh, how to develop activity with second gen. <laughs> I mean, uh, how was the meeting last time? I was not there. I'm struggling to find second gen support in here in Italy. How is in the other nation? If in Europe there is a team of second gen that are growing or how they can support each other. Yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking because I, this is also important. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay, yes. so on that one, Elizabeth, I've been asked to give a presentation not necessarily focusing on second gen, but rather on young people. Mm. Good. Right. That's good. Yes. Good. But in that, I think I, I will also be asking for help <laughs> from everybody. <laughs> so we'll but have I to invite young people, agenda. right? Yeah. Sorry? We'll have to invite some of our young people. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. But then we need to, uh, going back to the previous question, then how many can we hold in the house? And would we want to have a goal like for each sub-regional leader, we should at least bring, <clears throat> we should bring one younger person <clears throat> or something like that. You know, is there room for that many, Maria? Yeah, no, yeah. You know, it looks like if, if when you are satisfied to sleep, not only one bedroom, if it is possible. Otherwise, I need to to look for uh, in in the surroundment for one bedroom. We have four bedroom and two bedroom, and if somebody wants to have just one, this I need to prepare. How many people can you hold? No, yeah. <laughs> In apartment, there are there are two beds, and we can four. So four, eight, and eight is sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, and twenty-six, and five is uh, thirty. If you are satisfied to to sleep, if you can accept that you are not sleeping alone. Yes. Oh, oh sure. Of course. That's of course. <laughs> We are not first lady yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Thank yes, you very yes. much. Thank you very much what for this. Yes. Sure. And thought of necessity and, uh, and consideration for others have to sleep alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take this. No <laughs> problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is a good, is a good a big number actually, you know. We might not even reach 30. Yeah, this is the I I just only answered that we have beds. Even my son, we are now working to give it to our next generation. My husband is very much 
they were all the Christmas time, we were together and they were checking and they feel sorry that we had not only oh, two sorry. beds or one bed and everything. So I said, our ladies, oh, we are used to live together. Yeah. So mm -hmm. even in a, if I go to my family, I like to be with them. I see how they live and to share and I don't need so much. So we places, like I said, about 30, but it's really countryside is simple and we we can come in we are sitting side on side yeah we can also have one meter distance it's also possible because it's huge garden so you can go and we are yeah yeah so you can see how what is some project yeah how we can develop something when we when we we started to take care of this place and it's a uh, really like retreat place yeah it's quiet and yeah people feel the nature is very near and um, what else we have prayer ground it was from black hunting ground for healing so you can also go there and touch and and pray and for unity in europe it was in unity in europe even this point of disarmament of peace and security was Carolyn mentioned. This is also some point we can uh, pray or we can, yeah, whatever, think. Yeah, so this is surroundment here. Yeah. Yeah. But again, so I think... place, if we don't feel every, every bed is no problem. Yes. Uh, just yeah. to, to understand, because I don't want to la leave, leave somebody behind. For example, if national leaders are invited, I will invite Marta also from Portugal. But if not, not for everybody. So we need to make a, a clear yeah. decision. I, I don't I, know how. <laughs> by, um, from the beginning time with meeting, when, when, or when we, it was more about a small committee. It was more like this, like sub-regional leaders. Okay. And some others like you, some use, but I don't know if uh, I mean she didn't mention about national leaders. Sorry. Okay. Mm, How do you yeah. feel, Caroline? Do we need to it? talk again about this? Okay. Initially, it was the executive board. Yeah, executive Remember? board. Yeah. But then, exactly. of course, if you want really people to 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 gain from from this opportunity, of course, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we'll move in another direction or not, but if we want people to gain, then we have to invite them, like national leaders. I don't know. Yeah. What would you? I think say? also to to follow up on you know this meeting we made with the young young women to try to encourage them to come into women's federation. I it's I think that was the idea to that this could be, this is sort of a, ne a next step. We can't just make that meeting and then not do anything else. We, mm -hmm. we can, should invite them to something else. Again, maybe even some of these same ones that joined that meeting, you know, that even some said quite encouraging things about Women's Federation, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. originally the idea was just a board, uh, whoever was on this, on this chat, and um, yeah, and then we expanded also to uh, more youth, to include more youth for good purposes. Um, yeah, the, the thing with the youth is uh, uh, that they, I don't know if they can afford to come by themselves or if they need to be sponsored again. Uh, yeah, this is the only limitation that, uh, would be yeah perhaps it's connected with the other uh, issues that um, we were going to talk because uh, for the meeting in uh, in um, uh, 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 Siebenstein uh, one thing would be if we have do we have the possibility to have a mixed uh, meeting for the meetings to to have a zoom uh, a, a presentation to have a screen so Uh, Maria. Yeah, if if Lily is helping me, I, um, yeah. 
I don't know about the internet connection in uh, Siebenstein, and it looks like my connection now is unstable. The, the issue in Siebenstein will really be the internet connection because typically when we have meetings with Maria, it's often unstable. I wouldn't mm. rely yeah. on it for a hybrid. Yeah. Mm, I'm not very sure how easy it will be because when I see Victor doing this kind of things, it demands a lot of uh, technical. Yeah. Yes, I think so, yeah. Also, you can't just have a tiny little screen on a on a laptop, you know, for a room. A but room. but I would say in the case of um, Alexandra, Alexandra, you you probably would have to record pre-record your speech, huh? And send yeah. it, I think. Huh? That would be nice. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. I don't know if yeah. I mean, I could come for Saturday. I mean, my problem is that, uh, like, I was thinking, of, I'm leaving early in the morning on Monday uh, for two weeks with my kids and family. So I have to be at home in advance to prepare. Uh, but, uh, like, I originally thought that our meeting is Friday and Saturday. Yep, I checked the planes, so I have a plane at two. I could come for Saturday morning if it's really needed, if we have the meeting on the curriculum on Saturday in the morning, but I don't know how feasible it is and if it has mm. sense. Yeah, if it's like, it depends on how much we really want to focus on the curriculum. If it's just a short point on the agenda, then probably mm. there's no point, yeah. Yeah, so you yeah, I could pre-record the thing, yeah. I can send I you think. actually uh, the first version of the module that I've written even by the end of this week and uh, you could comment. So maybe even like everyone would know what the correct what the module is that I've written before. So you maybe. reviewed that as we discussed uh, before, right, Alexandra? No, you know, no, I'm, you... I'm writing my part. You're writing. Yeah, uh -huh. because uh, like, and I will be able to send it by the end of this week, if you like. Yeah, that's to, great. if anyone yeah. would like yeah. to have a look at it. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. Very good. It, uh, has everyone gotten, have most people gotten their tickets already? Like on this call, it, have you gotten your tickets? So for instance, I, I would just want to maybe, could some of us come a little bit a little bit earlier on Friday or something, or at least to make it so that we can maybe use some time together to, uh, so for instance, mm -hmm. putting yeah. a little bit of the curriculum together or any of these extra kind of things, because I think a day and a half is gonna go so quickly actually. Huh? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh, Lily's idea was maybe we stay behind on Monday because uh, her husband also is interested in the curriculum. But yeah, if, um, if we can do it for the, for, for before the meeting, go there for Friday, be there in, on, on Friday, good time, we could discuss yeah. everything. Uh, yeah, um, Ingrid, she will give me an answer if she can come or not. And mm -hmm. basically that's it, our, our curriculum team yeah. is uh, Alexandra, Ingrid, you, and I. That's oh. it. Yeah. So, If needed, I could come on Friday. I don't remember exactly what time I would be able to arrive. I have to check the flights, but I can write you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that is good then. then I, some... I don't have my ticket, so we, I can make it earlier. Okay. And uh, maybe some little part of that, Zoe, you could, some, you know, um, what do you call it? A little bit overview. You could then present during yes. the, during the main meeting. You know, but ah uh, uh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have prepared one the the ver a very old reviewed PowerPoint that I had for the for the the birth of that uh, uh, of that program. Uh, but uh, I can present it two times um, uh, to us more or less we know what it was and then also at the general uh, at the general meeting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah Zoe can I clarify one thing because you mentioned reviewing because I understood that I only have to write my, my part but do you also would like would you like me also to review other parts that you've sent or no? No, no, no. No, okay. no, just all writing my I part. Know. Okay, I just sent to make you it, so just much. To make sure. Okay. <laughs> I sent a okay. lot for you to have a general view. Okay. For you good. to see how mm -hmm. your part is going to be integrated in the whole yes. thing. 
Yeah, okay, but okay. all you are expected to do is the PowerPoint you originally sent, which was very nice. Uh, I hadn't seen the the notes, the footnotes because they did the the, the form wasn't uh, um, mm -hmm. giving it. I did mm -hmm. now. I know now the the, the footnotes. Yeah. But then, if you can make, a I'm from... adding additional material because this part is only is part. Yeah, and I'm adding Excellent. also some things on communication because it's like if it's like relations from building, we need the communication part. And I checked, it's not covered in other modules. Yeah, okay, that's very good. Okay. That's exactly what uh, is necessary. And then from the PowerPoint, all, all the footnotes can very well become like a, like a, a textbook, you know? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you saw the, the, the module three, all uh, Sruthi did was to uh, sort of take the same uh, chapters and just, fill in some things so it could be the same it's uh, yeah okay yeah okay mm -hmm. so i'll check what time my flights are and i'll write you okay yeah so I'm, yeah. let's uh, let's say the earliest possible for friday huh excellent idea okay. yeah we can arrive can i arrive for example thursday night if uh, in exceptionally <laughs> or because i think of there was course. Yeah. Okay. I'll check the flights and I'll let you know. Okay. I might do that too then actually. And we could, <clears throat> and Maria, okay. we can also maybe take a train. I, I think I could manage to help everyone get there. You don't have to come into the city necessarily if we do that. Huh? No, she will yeah. be coming to the train station, the closest to their place. Uh -huh. Oh, it's the closest to your place. No, no. Okay. There's another station, Zebenstein, which is a country train station, which yeah. Which is an extra one, only two every two hours, not every hour. No, it's every hour also. It's also every hour. I can find out, I can write it down on a letter. So yeah. uh, if yeah. once you're in Wiener Neustadt, then many times it's easy to just get the next train to Sebenstein. It's another 25 minutes. And Sebenstein is, is five minutes. Uh, I mean, to pick up with the car from Sebenstein is a matter of, of five minutes, yeah. So we can we can also oh. give you the schedule. So then we can find, see. Yeah, we can even. Okay. So okay. I'm sorry. Maybe part. I'll just just very right. briefly because I already checked the flights, and I, it's up to you, Caroline. Maybe you can tell yeah. what's better because I can either arrive at uh, eight twenty in the evening on Thursday, or I could arrive at nine forty in the morning on Friday, basically. Okay. Just is better. Mm -hmm. should, we, should we check with uh, uh, Ingrid? Ingrid, uh, too. Yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. Can yeah. Can so both options are okay. With okay, I'll look for something it. similar from my side. And mm -hmm. then. Uh, yeah, I will update Ingrid if she wants to, because she has to discuss with her children to take care of her husband. She can't just, she's a care of her husband. So. Um, she needs to to know exactly when we want her to be there. Now we, yeah, I can let her know. It's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All yeah. right. Okay. So the themes would be um, the curriculum, the IFLP, the membership, um, and all that included in the three main lines uh, that we. I, do, I put those in the chat. Yes. I don't know if anybody yeah, noticed. yeah, yeah. Peace and reconciliation, environment, and women and youth uh, leadership and education. And, um, and of course, um, second generation activities, how to involve them with uh, WWP. Is that what you mean, Elisabetta? How to be able to involve them with WWP? Youth, WWP, yes. for example. Yeah. That would be, that's a lovely idea. <laughs> because it can work very well with uh, YSP and they can, uh, yeah. Mm. Nice, yeah. nice. All right. Um, another subject I have here is um, the plant events that each one has uh, for, uh, for your regions and your countries for the 2023, um, what would be if every region can say or send, I think it would be better to send in writing and uh, have it somewhere. Uh, very quickly we can say, like for example, in, in my case is the uh, MEW, 
one MEW, which I hope I can do in, uh, in person in Turkey. The problem is the, the funding. Uh, I have devised a way uh, so everybody pays their own. Uh, if, if everybody pays, then there's a minimum expense from our side Uh, which maybe I can, I don't know. Uh, I have no no resources, so <laughs> it's very simple. Uh, and then um, also a celebration of the Interfaith Harmony Week because it belong it uh, it has been initiated by uh, Jordan, the the King of Jordan, and I would have liked to do an event. Uh, I would like to invite everyone, the whole EU ME region, if you would like to to to, to do um, the World Interfaith Harmony Week. Uh, it's perhaps by now it's a bit short. It's only one month. Uh, we can do events for and and belong to that uh, to that um, uh, day to that week uh, until the beginning of March. So yeah. If anyone is interested, just let me know and we can uh, coordinate, we can organize. Yeah. Um, from my side, is these two major events that I would have liked to do for the coming year, plus others. Uh, sorry, I also I have to go. Actually, I have a I'm helping with some some work of a couple of days or one day a week, so I need to run. But uh, anyway, we stay in touch and. Um, Have a good week, everyone. You too. Okay. Have a good the, week. Um, before you go, um, yeah. there is this um, the, these proposals that uh, uh, Vigdis and uh, Lily have. Um, oh, yeah, have uh, sent, which uh, maybe we could uh, be discussing how the visibility of these, how we can uh, develop our media. Oh, okay. But I have a big question: Where all the proposed money would come from? That's my question. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you want to discuss before you go? Do you have? Yeah, I mean, I, I could stay five more minutes. I'm very happy to hear if you, okay. to hear about this. Actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. Uh, Lily sent a very well explained in written. Uh, In yeah, reality. that's what I'm referring to. And, uh, so what is your reaction to that? Take some study of that, I think. Maybe Lily wants to explain a little bit very briefly or just because everybody knows it, just go ahead and the reactions. My personal was, is absolutely a fantastic program. Uh, it's just the financial side. But... I have... Uh inserted the proposal as a document in the chat and I think everybody would need to look at it and then the executive needs to decide what they want to do and the questions that you've brought up are very very valid I thought I would be presenting the proposal and I would have basically read through assuming that nobody had looked at it and mm -hmm. Kafuve was also at the meeting and was at my meeting yesterday with the social media team and we thought we would have 20 minutes to talk about it And um, uh, looking at the time now, I think everybody can have a look at it, copy it out of the chat. And if you need any more information, I can send it around again. I think I only forwarded it to Carolyn and Mitty and I can send it to the whole executive or maybe I already did, I'm not sure. We received it. You already We all received it. I, yeah. don't, um, I don't know if I received or not. Did I? No. <laughs> I think you have. I think I think everybody. Yes, well. Okay. Okay. So, if anybody's got particular questions that they want to ask me about my proposal, the basic issue about the web page I left out completely because when I saw that Vigdis and Joanna are coming back to the Women's Federation to active work, and Mitty had suggested that Michael Balcom was prepared to provide funding for the web page, and then I had already just gone with Vigdis into redesigning the web page and Joanna had made a, a draft and then Mitty said, I oh, will redo it and get some professionals to do it. I thought, okay, you take care of the web page and my proposal is basically everything else. So this is something that needs a bit more than five minutes time to talk about. 
So mm -hmm. I'll leave it up. I, I think that's enough said from, from me now. Have a look at the proposal and be prepared to talk about it next time. Yeah, I think so. Well, basically, mm -hmm. I don't see myself doing the web page. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, I, I don't know what that would uh, entail. Um, I thought you were doing it, but uh, anyway, so, like you said, it has to be clarified somehow what is what. Um, but I, th I think if we have some money, if we can get that confirmed, because this was this was always sort of our stopping point. Yeah. We didn't push past that. Um, we could, I'm sure we have at different points, we have had people offer to help us. So if we had some money to like a monthly kind of amount, I'm sure we could find, we could put, you know, we could even make some kind of... Uh, announcement in the family federation or something you know and ask for some well if that is the case i'm signing in again okay <laughs> <laughs> well, because my situation is I'm, a, I'm a pensioner and i, I, I have started to look for oh. extra income mm -hmm. so, would be... anyway, whatever yeah yeah nancy's but, proposal but... is very nice very good but very, I think it needs, solid. it needs us to study it and then discuss it. It cannot yeah. be decided like, just like that. No. And of course, we need to find out where the money is going to come or how we can make it come or whatever. Yeah. That's my question. I, I think Mike means it. If When Mike says it, he means it. So we should definitely take him up on it. We need to make a proposal <laughs> how much we would want and um, and then little bit give and take with that. I I think we should act on that. I think Mitty should follow up on that, you know. Mm -hmm. I think she will do, yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Lily, when you talk about the media team and that and you say that won't include the web page, what does it include? If you want me to go over the proposal now, I can do that. Um, as I said, I sent it in the chat and I sent it around and okay, okay. the information so, is be... there. And the one proposal I was offering was from Nancy, who is prepared to do Facebook and Instagram. My proposal where I, I listed the areas of um, influence where I could see that I could, I could really take responsibility. And what I meant by not doing the web page was where I the proposal that I offered with the finances included, I only included what I felt confident that I can cover. And with another 5,000 euro, I could then say, yes, I'll find somebody to do the web page and all the other stuff that needs to be done. Because I think even our Zoom account, we should have an admin. As I've said in the proposal, we need administration and control and, and accountability for our finances, for our membership, for our PR, for this meeting. Look who's already yes, left the meeting yes, because yeah. we haven't managed to keep the time. We haven't kept the agenda. We haven't communicated in advance. We haven't done these things. And I think we need a dedicated person to work on the administration of Women's Federation Europe, like they have in Japan, in Korea, in America, that we, a country, a region of 72 nations, haven't managed to to provide professional administration for this organization which is saving the world it's it's unfathomable to me i can't grasp it so i've made my offer and what women's federation does with it that's that this executive meeting has to decide where are we and what are we prepared to do and make some clear decisions. So for me, my proposal is there and it's an accept or reject or a modify. And I would highly recommend accept Nancy's proposal. Get the social media working with Facebook and Instagram and go from there and make some clear decisions and do something. And as Carolyn says, if Mike Balcom is prepared to do that, Mitty and the executive should look at the proposal seriously, see what they can accept, what they can't, and what alternatives there are, and make a clear proposal. That's that's what I'm proposing. With the, with the social media, whether website, Facebook, Instagram, all this, 
the main thing also like we talked about before the, the purpose has to be clear we have to have a clear purpose with these things we have to have a clear purpose with the website a clear purpose fa with facebook and instagram i mean it, of course they all have to work together yes but, we should but, have a mission what, statement what, we should have a vision statement and everything else as well yeah. yeah. But, but but what what can you explain a little bit more, Vigdis, what you mean by so a purpose meaning if we want to be on Twitter, we have to have our clear line of what we're going to say and do on Twitter. You mean that kind of thing or yeah, no, not not uh, just general generally with all these social ways out into the world, what is it we want to communicate? What is the main thing we want to communicate? So it, so it don't just be a, a post talking about this and another post talking about that all over the place, but, but also that there is an underlying uh, purpose so it can shine through very clearly who we are and what we want mm. but but it's not a i mean we have our mission statement and we and we have our yeah. th our, our three yeah. main goals so those are sort yeah. of our general lines do we yeah, need so to that, that has to that has to that has to shine through clearly then in the social media platforms yeah when when i was reading this, um, uh, lily's um proposal and uh, nancy and all I was thinking this connects totally with the membership. Our audience will be the whole wide world out there, and especially the, the European um, um, countries, the European level, the European community, uh, EEC maybe, or something, anything. That, but not only we want to have uh, the, the Middle East included, it doesn't matter. Um, now, my personal experience with the Middle East is that they change a lot. There isn't any more this kind of secrecy. There isn't any more this fear. There are dangerous countries and everybody knows they are dangerous. And they get away in those countries like Iran. They get away. They are out there in the web as much as others. So we don't need to worry so much anymore. <laughs> I'm going totally against my own principles in the past. Uh, so um, we need to attract the membership we so much want. Uh, and this, of course, like exactly like Lily says, needs a kind of internal um, framework organ organizing. Um, perhaps until now it couldn't be because Many countries are not even registered, and many countries cannot even be registered. So we need to find a reason, a, a way, how to get around this problem. Mm -hmm. Because if you have, we have members, many members in countries where these, uh, our organization cannot be registered. How do we get around them? How do we get the benefit from these uh, members, and the members get the benefit, and many other, yeah. <laughs> So is that is that what you mean then, Vigdis and and Lily? We our goal of that is membership, but also it's you know it is influencing mindsets of 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 yeah. the world, right? According to our our main lines, yeah. right? Yes. Our main purpose yes. and goal, yeah. Yes, and, but and then there is another thing because. Let, let's say somebody goes in on our website and then they think, oh, this is super. So so then, uh, and then one thing, they might want to contact us, but then suppose there is somebody then they think, oh, I want to support this organization. I want to send some money. <laughs> How does that happen? Well, that was my issue, we have... that we need to look at the whole proposal. And when when I'm responsible, I want donate possibility over PayPal and donation account yeah, on yeah. the web page and on social media everywhere and membership drive. But you can't run a membership drive when you've got nobody taking care of the people who sign up. The web page yeah. has that capacity. 
and I've asked the members, the, the executive, to sign up to the web page because the web page even has the automatic newsletter function. When I've posted a blog article, the newsletter goes out automatically to all those who have signed up. If you haven't yeah. signed up, you won't know. So when Mitty said, oh, the web page is dead, nobody's doing anything, I knew she has not signed up because I've posted I don't know how many blog articles. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So we need a small training among ourselves first, I guess, to... Um... Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I will read your thing more carefully, Lily. Sorry, I... <laughs> it's it the, first, it the first drop on the stone yesterday in my meeting with Kefir there. The next issue for me is social media for nonprofits, a Google account for nonprofits. <laughs> I need the, the registration information of the organization to make that application and then for it to be reviewed. And I started the process, but I stopped there because I'm not applying for Austria. I'm applying for Europe. So I haven't got the detailed information of the registration of Women's Federation in Switzerland and all of the other bank account information. But these are this is just the beginning. You know, first we have to decide and commit. And with no decision and no commitment, the time invested in doing all of this is colossal. And I can't just keep pouring all of my energies down this abyss when I know nothing is going to come out of it. So my proposal is there. It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a question if... Uh... May I? When I read the, your presentation, I saw it was many details, and uh, for my understanding, is a lot of work, a lot of a big job. Mm -hmm. um, I had a little worry because uh, in, your presentation is to send uh, to the world uh, all the news of what we are doing. But my point is uh, how to follow the people that uh, come in contact with us. Otherwise, it's just giving and not receiving back. There must be a way to follow up the people that are come close to, to put a like on Facebook page, to discover who they are, try to follow them. In this way, it's possible to, to, give, to receive something back. Otherwise, just give and, and spread. But uh, it's important to follow the people also. So this is a big job also, because just for Facebook, it's quite a big job. I don't know, with other yeah. web or... Uh, so uh, this is important because it's not only one way. It should be both ways, give and take, <laughs> in order to welcome new but, people. But can that, can that not also be divided up like if someone reads an article about what's happening in the UN office, for instance, or in UK... There could there would be a place in that website where that person should c connect directly to that location, right? So it doesn't have to come to one central place where we need to have someone managing <clears throat> all of this necessarily, right? Well, that was my idea with the social media team. I've tried. To, we, it's been difficult for us to find a time that we can all meet together. But for example, one is specialising on Facebook and Instagram. Another one is more interested in Twitter, and another one is interested in the in the <coughs> web page. So my goal is to to work with that team. But we're also not prepared to just pour all of our resources, all of our time and energy, because we also need to live. And mm -hmm. the question is. A financial issue. It needs to be addressed. It is very yes. time consuming. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Your idea is that uh, this team would take care of the people who are interested, or would there be any way in which you can you can spread out to the different what Caroline was saying to the different offices or or nations. Oh to that's take the, care. That's the point. That's why we have to discuss and decide what are we prepared to commit to. And then we set up the structure where we connect with one another. For example, on the Facebook, on the um, web page, I want a calendar. I want to be able to link in to every event that has happened and find the report and find the photos and find the videos and, and do all of that. And that's one, one area where for me to figure that out is just too overwhelming and time consuming. And I want to be able to employ somebody or get somebody to get that expert advice to put that in place and to work together. But I can't just do that. 
I need the resources. And once we've got the resources, then we plan and we organize and we say, hey, we've got an executive committee. We've got people responsible for these areas, physically in terms of geographical regional area. We've got people responsible for these thematic areas, um, UN and first ladies and education and um, um, environment. And it's all, yeah. It's it's just the planting the seeds to to evolve evolve it and and let it work. One question, Lily. Another question, uh, Doris. So far, she has been posted our events on Facebook. You you didn't mention her name. She's not in this team, or she's not going to be in this team, or you that don't know. That was not my decision. That's what I was a little bit concerned. I thought when Carolyn says I am the head, I am the social media manager, PR manager for Europe and the Middle East, and I have this young social media team of these four young ladies, and Doris has been doing Facebook um, so far, and I know a lot of things happened in between, but I don't know what it was. I don't know what happened. People have come and gone, and mm -hmm. I don't, don't want to lose the resources that are already there and prepared to do something. Yeah. But I have not personally communicated with Doris, and that is a very valid issue and point yeah. that has to be addressed because she's not the only one. Tanya Chandler, I don't even know her, and she's also posting. Yeah. Oh. I, I think uh, just concerning Doris, uh, ba basically Doris didn't want more. She was happy to have this Facebook area, you know. Mm -hmm. But I do think, it, of course, it would be good to reach out to her and a little bit report what this media team is doing and 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 to tell her that of course we we'd, we'd be very happy if she wants to somehow at least be part of the the think tank side of it or something because she's also very knowledgeable in this field huh and um i think in my talk, in my talk yesterday with kafilbe we addressed the issue we want to create the consciousness that Women's Federation is an NGO, a volunteer organization where everybody has an opportunity to tithe time. Everybody can come and give their expertise, that small amount that they can give, and that can be coordinated and organized when we provide a budget for a paid at professional admin to put it and tie it all together. So we have paid staff and we use the resources. We utilize the network of international women that we have to connect all of this volunteer energy that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, Can I like... have a request from national chapters? Because I think we had this idea before in case of the old website, but uh, because like, we do not have resources in the national chapters yeah even like in poland we do not have a person to make a page or something but would it be possible for example to have also a place for national chapters you could even like yeah yeah, that us, yeah, yeah. yeah so that we could or, insert our information you could send us the code yeah the, on, yeah. on the original page that is all the chapters yeah yeah i know so but what i mean it, is a little different yeah so that like, for example, there's one uh, template so that, like, all uh, countries oh. look similar. Yeah, oh. but using this template, we could fill in our information, like, for example, our news. Yeah, we are uh, having this and that meeting, and it's also on the main page. Yeah, yeah. something like this. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. possible. Yes. Yes. Everything is possible. In, yeah. in our region, we have the, the issue of the languages. It's not a problem, but of the different languages. So definitely, there has to be always a link, uh, something, at least an address uh, of, of a person of a different country, of every country, so people can feel more familiar. It, 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 the whole um, Middle East can be very, very comfortable with French, for example. There has to be some possibility of a version in French uh, and, and version in, I would say, in Arabic. But anyway, that needs a lot of work. Yeah, I think so. I think on chapter chapter uh, pages, 
they should be able to put their reports in their language and then pe they will, will connect more and more people from like how CNN did all of a sudden springing up everywhere in yeah. different languages, you know. Uh, I, I really have to go, but you know, yeah. Lily yeah. and Vigdis especially, I would say if you, if you make another meeting of this team and we want to really go to the next step, including getting money for it. Maybe we we could have one meeting. I, I would be happy to join. Maybe li, maybe maybe uh, Mitty too, or just a couple of us. Yeah. Yeah. And then we could we maybe together we could see about going to the really doing this because it sounds very exciting. And I think I'm really, I'm I'm sorry I can't stay longer right now. But I think we, we now we have to really do this. We've been talking for a decade about doing this. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. No, and I we, think we need to dedicate a meeting. We can decide maybe yeah. two weeks from now. Why not? Yeah. Uh, a morning meeting just for media. Yeah, I and think so too. Get everyone there. Okay, I'm sorry I need to run, but thank you. So mm -hmm. nice thank to you. talk. Thank you very much, Caroline. Take we care. can talk uh, a bit another time together. Okay. Yeah. We okay. have Afghanistan also who is waiting for us. Yes, right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, right. Um, so um, before everybody goes, I would like <laughs> Alexandra as well and Maria. Oh my goodness! And uh, there's something very important by Alexandra <laughs> uh, about this um, series that we started. The her story, you know, um, it's a. Uh, uh, yeah, this uh, on the 19th, it's going to be um, a Kulud. I can show you, um, I would like to show you that uh, this is, oh, wait, I need to share screen. This is the, um, uh, the poster that um, Miti made, but yesterday, uh, uh, Kulud sent me a kind of animated meeting, animated uh, uh, PowerPoint that she made herself mm -hmm. for herself to promote. And of course, she's uh, very good in promoting this meeting in her media, in her Facebook, in her everything. Uh, I suppose we can be very much supported by the uh, our... Um, uh, our guests in that media endeavor. If we have a good organized um, um, website or whatever European that um, rings a bell for them, then definitely they can, they definitely will connect to it. It will be uh, certain, at least I know because in the Middle East they are very much uh, developed. Kulud is uh, also Lebanese. Somehow the Lebanese seem to be developing in the electronic very much. So um, who would be next after uh, Kulud? It's once per month, right? So uh, on the 19th and for March, is there anyone? Uh, February, nobody. February. February. Yeah, February. February, next. yeah. Uh, sorry, I think yeah. it's our time, South Europe, if I understood well, right? Okay, yes. yeah, dude, have you thought of? Anyone? I think we need to discuss maybe with Marcia and Marta to see yeah. which proposal we can uh, we can give from our uh, South Europe. Yeah, yes. Okay. We will let you know. Mm. And you will send something to, to the sure. chat or something. Yeah. Yes, okay. Yes. Because from my experience, it was good that I asked her very much, uh, very early. Uh, she was very happy and she worked to, to, to prepare something. She asked me different questions. What's the spirit? She was very um, happy because uh, she's the first uh, guest, etc. So it's good as early as possible that they know. And then for um, March, who is it? Which uh, region? Is it uh, sorry, region? just a, a question. Um, to understand the, the target is uh, to this presentation is for member or for guest? Or for, for guests. Both? For, for guests. guests. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Most, uh, not only for guests, of course, for mm -hmm. members and guests, uh, okay. her story, share their um, uh, 
uh, their ways of uh, developing in life, how they worked and their position. Yeah, and yeah. 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 Okay. After uh, South region is uh, France. I mean, it's um. France. <laughs> <Good question. laughs> um. Yeah, I don't remember. In fact, if we had uh, already planned, uh, you know. Which but, uh, there is another region that's not there. Is the central region? Central region. Yeah. Yeah. You were in December, right, Brigitte? I was in December. Yes, to give the yeah. So you led the meeting in December. And we didn't, uh, did we have anybody coming for to speak? No, we didn't. No, no. Oh, no, 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 that's something different, right? This yeah, we are not, is we are not it, it so happened that this time is, is I first. am in this meeting, yeah. I'm the first and also the first for the... For yeah. the no, well, I as far as I can remember, we tried to make it coincide the, the uh -huh. region that has the that leads the meeting this meeting will mm -hmm. also take care of the, her story oh i see I, I december was too short i think so we definitely yeah, december it didn't begin in december yeah. yes you're right so it's beginning with zoe and yeah. then yeah. we have uh, south region in february okay. and then uh in march it should be the central region renate do you remember about this with magda I don't I don't remember now yeah I, yeah but maybe it could be yeah mm -hmm. yeah we need to check the the dates there was some mm -hmm. yeah bye. Maria bye bye Maria bye Maria <laughs> thank you Maria so um very thank much. you I need to leave yeah thank you uh, I have one question in the central region I heard that officially Ukraine now comes to the central region That's it's also the same for women's federation. I suppose so. okay interesting yes so maybe we have to check if march is central region mm -hmm. yeah uh and then that means april what me what left so no. what it means is that whoever leads i mean yeah. whoever leads the meeting in the month also takes care of her story yeah that's right yes that's mm -hmm. the point oh, okay okay yeah. So then I'm not in much. Yeah. And I have a question for you, actually, because I'm supposed to take care of the Wednesday's meet, Wednesday meetings. Yeah. And uh, of course, in December, I mean, the way I can do these meetings is we can have any type of meeting. We can have our internal meeting with all sisters, or I can invite someone as I did in December, I invited Merle. Uh, I had thought about January to have a general meeting with all sisters and give them, give everybody the opportunity to share as we are entering a new year and uh, so many things have gone, gone on, are going on and so on. The point is when, because um, um, of course, not this Wednesday, of course, not tomorrow. Uh, then the next Wednesday, next Wednesday is um, is uh, eleven. Is the eleventh, and then in the following week we have her story. Uh, right? This is on a Thursday, right? Uh, story. Yeah, her story is on a Thursday, and uh, uh, our yes. meeting on Wednesday would be just once okay. a month, and yeah. in any any with any type of program and so what do you think shall we have next wednesday our internal meeting i mean our wednesday meeting with this possibility for everybody who would like to share a few minutes it cannot be longer than two three minutes that's the reality otherwise it becomes too long but uh, I'm sorry, but I remember we had replaced the Wednesday with a Thursday. No, Did not replaced. Not, not replaced. replaced. Yeah. We have two meetings a month. One is her story, which is organized by the person Thursday. in charge of the uh, executive board meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we still kept 
one other meeting on a Wednesday. So oh. only two meetings a month. And mm -hmm. Wednesday gives this chance for sisters together because this is more a petit comité meeting and uh, the Wednesday meeting is a, a chance for everybody to join and share because there are so many things going on in those mm -hmm. countries that sometimes we don't talk about. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. often we don't talk about. So um, shall I call on yeah. this meeting? I mean, uh, I'm in charge of it, so I should call call this meeting, but I just wanted to make sure you were there to support me. Don't what about the, 15, the 25th? 25th? The 25th? Uh, the 25th. That mm. would be best, maybe. Yes. Uh, yeah. 25th, it's a Wednesday. It has to be a Wednesday at 8.30 yeah. as usual after prayer. Yeah, because the 11th is too short. Tomorrow is too short. 11th yeah. is relatively yeah. short. Yeah. Then 18th and 19th is too short, too, too close. Why do yes. that? The next possible for January would be 25th. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. And also Mitty will be back. The meeting will be back, oh, yeah. and also yeah, that question. meeting gives a chance for us to do uh, many things as a whole community in mm -hmm. Europe. And we can pray, or we can share, or we can have a guest, whatever, you know? So... Um, you mean on, on the 25th, on the 25th, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Mm. No, on the 25th, I was planning to share with the whole exactly. group of sisters. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So, sisters, not guests, or uh, what? No, uh, well, because mm, if you want them to share more, you know, more personal yeah. things, or... it can be in in yes. it can be both ways. But anyhow, we can decide. Uh, now let's leave it into decide. membership. We have the open one, yeah. one open yeah. the Thursday meeting, and one membership mm. the Wednesday meeting. My I am more, more internal, you think? Yes. Yeah. Maybe like oh, this. I'll just, I don't know. I'll just uh, confirm those things with me, but I think it's going to go maybe. Uh, in the past, we had two. Uh, I mean, we had some okay on some occasions we had guests, but um, we can decide meeting by meeting. I mean, let's say this Wednesday we can have it for members, and. Uh, if next time I want to invite someone, it can be open, whatever. Yeah. We can we can discuss meeting by meeting. So I'll just reconfirm all this with Miti and yeah. get there mm -hmm. for the 25th. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, I think we are about to finish everything. This plant events, I don't know if you, um, Miti uh, said to me for the North, there's three uh, North region, three parliament meetings. Um, but she would like, you know, in England, she always has three meetings with the parliament in, in a year. She works very, very hard. <laughs> uh, but she wants this time that they are uh, on EU ME level if we can all invite our parliamentarians for, uh, in, in my case, Cyprus would be ideal because I have two parliamentary ladies. That, that means, all. when you say that, mean invite people to London? To London, to the parliament. The ah, parliament. Wow. Okay. Uh, of course, with all that it incurs, Expenses of stay, expenses that's of right, travel, that's right, that's right. especially yeah. the stay in England, I tell you. It's expensive, right? Very expensive. But I don't know. Um, Airbnbs are developing here. I'm, I'm, I don't know. It's a shame. I'm four years in England, but I don't know the English reality of activities because I'm focused in other places. But uh, the, yeah, you wanted also European Parliament in Bruxelles. Yeah. Ah, right. that also yes. To, well, anyway, not the, <laughs> that, really that, that too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Except that, that if it is the that. European Parent uh, Parliament in Brussels, yeah, already exactly. every country mm. has their own uh, 
parliamentarians okay. representatives so there's no question of traveling we yeah. choose a date when uh, we call and we call the, the the country representatives the country parliamentarians who are on the spot if others want to join um, ex parliamentarians so from local parliamentary is their responsibility I we think can an let e them know. eu meeting in in london which is Brexited the EU is a little bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes. That's something to it, think it is about. True too, yeah. I feel more easy to think of European Parliament, Brixel or Strasbourg. Yeah. One of the two. Uh, going to London, yeah. So. <laughs> For an EU meeting, really? <laughs> but remember, remember, Lily, half and half people decided Brexit yeah. or not. So yeah. there's a whole half of the British population who are it's delighted true. to be to see an European activity. <laughs> Let's see, because we, we ask Colette if there is a way. I mean, we have to at least one time during this year to try to do it in European Parliament. So that will be great. Perhaps that's what makes it. But at the end of the year, I mean, not just that like now. But... Uh -huh. But maybe that's what Mitty meant. I'm not quite sure. She sent very okay. short. Yeah, I think messages. we mentioned that one time. At least mm. with Caroline. Yeah. yeah. I know okay. that EPF is trying to do it as well. So. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Sorry, may I another point? But uh, I don't remember what we decided about the donation for Ukraine, Women Federation Ukraine, because uh, I mean, uh, the yeah, <laughs> I know Marta has collected a lot of money, some small money from Italy too. So uh, we are going to send or we are waiting for that the project will start. Uh, I don't know if there is some follow up about this. Yeah. In fact, I have a question to Marcia because she phoned me about how do you send the money? Well, I haven't sent the money yet. I uh, talked with our the person who uh, organizes our um issues at the bank and he said that his answer was that they don't have any special treatment because mm -hmm. the system cannot recognize if the money is sent is being sent to a um, uh, humanitarian project of okay. course i know the system doesn't have that but he offered something interesting and i didn't have time to follow up he said you try to send the money and and before you you click the button, sending it, it will show you how much we are uh, charging you, what the commission is for the money you are sending. And so you can find out how much that commission is. And if you decide to send for that commission, the bank will pay half of it. So what I haven't done is to check what commission is for 3,000 euros. I, because I suppose it changes every day. So, um, and if I decide it shouldn't be too high, they will pay us half of it. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I'm probably doing that. But what I don't know, Brigitte, is where to send it to Austria yeah. or? Uh, no, no, not to Austria. Uh, to if Ukraine. you send it directly, you have to send directly to Ukraine. To Ukraine. Okay. But uh, if you, because if you send to Switzerland, then you have some uh, fee, and then and then Switzerland have some fee as well to send to Ukraine. That was okay. a you know a main thing. So okay. directly to to Ukraine. Yeah. So of course, at the, originally we thought we said we go we send everything to Switzerland, and then from Switzerland we gather the money and then we send to you know to Ukraine. Also, one possibility. So, and you pay the exchange fee twice. Sorry, um, and you change pay the exchange fee twice from yes, euro right. into Swiss francs, from Swiss francs back into euro. Exactly. Yeah, that's a big thing. So, so the yeah, only no. thing, the only thing that happens there, if we don't centralize, of course, from here they know women's. I mean, women's federation pays sending the money, yeah. but that means that uh, this register will not be in our bank that we are sending money for humanitarian projects in our central bank, yes, in Switzerland. So, uh, of course, if we have to do that way, what shall we do? We have to do it. I but mean, 
we can still send the report and is part of European. Yes. yes. Uh, the yes. point yes. is that if we want to go on with a project, a specific project with the van, yes. with the yes. doctor yes. and so on, or better yes. to do quickly yes. in a different That's way. This is the main point. No, no, it's not changed. That was the So if, if we send to Ukraine directly, they will use the right way the money. They will not take for our project, I think. No, for our oh, project. I have, I, I have a, so? an idea. Our sister from Poland is coming, right? To our meeting. Alexander. Yeah. But because Poland and help a lot as well with, uh, I mean, I don't know if they had the occasion to meet in Ukraine or is Hannah able to come or even to travel? Can we invite Hannah to come to Siebenstein? Yes, Question. Sir. A question. No, I mean, we could offer directly, that's what I mean, this kind of money. To bring the money to, to Sebastian. I just, thought just, about it's that. just an idea that comes like this. It's just to avoid all this, uh, you know. Of course, if she's able to come, it's even nice. But the point Not is, the point is always to make sure that we have this register in our bank accounts. Yeah. In our banks, have the because uh, even to if we want to raise funds in the future, Lily, at the European level with the European Union, exactly. Uh, of course, we need to have a bank account that is moving, and so yeah. uh, that was my concern always. It, it would be good to to have this money coming through, but of course, if we have to to pay so much, it's or twice or mm -hmm. two. Yeah. yeah. Even the non-profit issue, what Kefilve and I were talking about yesterday, she was working in banks in South Africa. And for example, um, for, for the non-profit, I would have to give all the information about the organisation and prove that we are a non-profit, which means also presenting the accounting to prove it. And Kefilve said, yes, and one of the things that she had to look at when she was working in the banks if you say you are an NGO with 50 years experience and your bank account is only two years old, they're going to look at that and question and they're not going to believe what you're talking about. So the reporting, the recording, and even us, this Swiss bank account, we only started two years ago. Therefore, we need to be absolutely clear that we have such clear financial reporting documenting our status as a non-profit and then we can get a free Google Drive and all of the business activities available from Google and from Zoom and from these other international organizations. But you have to have the accountability. You have to have clear documentation. Right. I think Caroline does have that document, but she was also waiting from the bank some more documents, right? Uh, I mean, I don't know if uh, Irmgard knows about that. I don't know clearly, but... Uh... Just, I know, as you said, um, it's important um, to to report. Uh, no, I want to say, um, yeah, to to send to the Swiss account so that we can gather these reports and what we are doing, and that it's clearly um, um, written and. Um, then to have credibility after years, and then, uh, yeah, they trust us, and um, I think it would be important. So you I, I will, I will ask Korea to to uh, to make this report and about the finances last this last year, and then to share with you, and also all the donations. We collected so far for Ukraine or other things. So your suggestion would be it's better to send to a Switzerland account. But this is my to personal keep, view. Keep the record. Yes, um, but maybe we have to discuss with Caroline also or Ria or. Yes, or, I think that's so important to do because all the the idea of this bank account is to have a central bank account that where our money as an organization is appears, where it goes or it's coming. And so we have that history there. That was the point because um, we missed this to um, 
the years before because I also have not this um, experience in this financial things. Sorry for that. Really. The other thing that Kefirve recommended was that it should be possible in most countries it, to have a euro account, even in Switzerland, because the problem is for us, we send the money to Switzerland into Swiss francs or now with Mitty in England into pounds and we're paying exchange rates every time back and forth for everything that we do in our 72 countries. So she said that it should be possible or it should be researched. Ilmgard, if you can ask Ria, if it's possible to have a euro account. Keep it in Switzerland, okay, if it's a euro account. Yeah, that yeah. would be great. Yeah, I mean, in any bank, you can you can have any kind of currency you want. So you can, I can have a a, a Norwegian kroner account, and I can have a euro account. Yeah, maybe it's a good idea. And then what, when we transfer, we transfer euro to the euro account, mm -hmm. and then that problem is solved. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so maybe it is a good idea to 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 maybe to open a euro account, and so, because it's, it's true, we we pay a lot of fee in Swiss. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. So can we ask you, Irmgard, just to check on that with Rie? Yeah, uh, that would be important for us, and if we need to change the type of account, that would be important. Mm -hmm. And so this money is 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 uh, here in Spain, you know. I'm not losing it. <laughs> it's ready to go wherever it it can. Maybe you can bring it to a meeting and give it to I Caroline. Could, I could do that, actually. Yes. Let's see what Ria says. If Ria says, it yes, we can do it, I'll bring it to, to, to Austria. Yeah. Also, if Caroline wants to have such a big amount of money on her, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but as you said, they should come out from the bank account and yes, we do true. some yes. to That's register. So yeah, yes, it's yeah. the same situation. It's the same situation. Yeah. What I think is that with the 3,000 euro, we can think something real for our project, like for the van, more mm -hmm. the other money we have. Because it's one year we are collecting, so it would be nice now to send and to start yes. something. Uh, I don't know if they they can make or we can support, but maybe now we have some money and we can decide to do something. Uh, yeah, they other. have already started uh, a part of the project that doesn't require the van because they don't have the van yet, as far as I know. Okay. Can I ask something? So the account you are talking about in Switzerland, is, is, is that Women's Federation Europe account? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did it. <laughs> we put it Euro and not EUME because if it was ME, Middle East, maybe they would have had different researches and, uh, you know, yeah. with all the situations. So it is for the whole region uh, also so, so that no, can be easily to easy to put on the website. People yeah. could donate directly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah. if it's a if it's a Swiss account, people may 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 hesitate to send because they know there is a fee to pay. I mean, if European level, I mean. So but if we have the we account, do PayPal as well. Ah, uh, PayPal. Yes. Do we have PayPal? I don't we, know what they ended up doing. I mean, we rec we were talking about it nearly a year ago, and that was the idea that we can donate. The Actually, uh, was that the European or the Ukraine PayPal? We, or the Ukraine? After, Ukraine. Ukraine. The Ukraine. After the last event when we did the donations, we had the PayPal, so that was the <coughs> Ukraine. Yes, yeah. it's, it's publicized there, the, the bank yeah. account yeah. and the PayPal account. We need to account. do that for our, EU, for our European level, yeah. We should but do it if everywhere. You pay, if you pay with a PayPal account, how does that show actually? How how is that? I mean, it's like a separate bank account, and you have your PayPal uh, bank statement, and you decide which bank account it's linked to. So, for example, on my PayPal account, I can link it to two or three accounts, and you say where the money. When you get money coming in, it stays on PayPal itself until you use it, or it's a 
a flow through and it's attached to your one account and it goes into that account. And if you pay with PayPal, it comes out of that account. But you determine the PayPal is a, attached to one email address and you determine yourself each time you make the PayPal payment, which bank account it actually goes to. So even if we have the PayPal account attached now to the Swiss account, it might be possible then to still add other banks to that PayPal account. Mm. Okay, I have to. <laughs> yeah, so this really one, one, this takes administration mm. because somebody has to be in charge of that. It cannot be, oh yeah, who 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 knows? We have what, a treasure. You know, it has to be a very clear uh, uh, yeah, group or or people. We do have a treasurer of these things. Big is we do have a treasurer. It's yes. uh, Colleen's in law. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm I'm a bit rusty, so <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I get my head around it bit by bit. <laughs> Victus, I will send you the uh, bank dates, the uh, bank details, and the bank account uh, from yes, European. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, maybe okay. time is already. Yes, it, we are getting on. I think we covered this. Uh, you want to uh, say anything about the plant? Um, um, Plant activities that uh, events that you would like to. Uh, we said about the IFLP. We said about the EU. I mean, um, I mean the the, the parliamentary activity. Uh, we have one meeting for EU ME in general. One annual meeting, right? Uh, that we are organizing. Is there any suggestion for that or? This is a big subject. We need to have special meetings for each one, I think. Um, uh, from uh, following the, the, the message or the, the speech from Merli, you know, last time, I found it very interesting what she said that uh, uh, she was thinking of not just uh, making, I mean, you make an event and then another event and then another event. She was really more deeply thinking about. Um, uh, the following, you know, how to, to, you know, the, there was more like how to go or to project, you know, the people, how to, to go from not only from one event to an event, but do something in the long term, right? something like this. And that was very, very interesting. I mean, of course, there is all this project humanitarian, but some other project that can bring people in the long term. Because sometimes you have one event and then we think of the next event and then think of another mm -hmm. event. And then after, in between, you know, I feel there is no continuation. So something like this. But anyway, it's just a thought that we can have in February. I mean, just. Yeah. For example, start a kind of educational network. That's, that's education. Yeah. Uh, 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 develop educators. And from the educators, have an outreach to any kind of groups who would like, would be interested in a character curriculum for young ladies or another um, program, character education, another educational program for, for, for environment, anything, yeah. That's true. It doesn't have to be only events. It can be. Yeah. Of course, event is important to be able to reach out people or maybe make new people, maybe possibly. But just you need also some continuation after so something like this. Okay, no, just yeah. Yeah. a thought. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, our, may I say something? Yeah. Our tactic in Austria, because my understanding of women federation is of course uh, uh, as much as possible a well organized organization to reach out but in the end it's also to i mean to mother said even at the 30 years anniversary speech please bring the people to me yeah? uh make them connect somehow make a connection to 
to um, to parents and also to uh, family federation or the core values of family federation. This is also always our understanding. So in Austria, in Vienna, I'm just saying what how somehow how we how what our strategy is is to have events, but they also to we are cooperating with the family federation. So um, even we. We, can, we we say sometimes our Women Federation Peace um, Academy is in connection with the Family Federation and where we have um, uh, seminars and um, um, no, Vorträge, lectures, more connecting people to the principal understanding. So this we have almost every other week or so, yeah, in Vienna and we invite our guests to this. So um, this is kind of the flow. That mm -hmm. we follow, yeah. So we also invite uh, people to the one week uh, seminar in Prague this time, yeah. So maybe three, four guests will go there also, yeah. It's very because good. somehow this is our, I, I mean, it's my understanding also of Women Federation as being a wider outreach and, of course, to be open, people's who, who is the person and what is the next step for the person. So, but basically to help them to understand. Also, the understanding of who is heavenly parents, yeah, in their life, or somehow this is my. This is the way we follow in in Austria. So we are a small country, but we all tied together. So we are uh, we can, we cannot even separate even if we want, but we work together, we cooperate together, and somehow this is the desire of all of us that people understand more and more about uh, heavenly parent and eventually uh, true parents as the mediators. So. So all our events are taking place in the headquarter and until recently now we, we did a big cleaning in the yeah, change of the year, but we had this, these posters from the uh, 100 years anniversary <clears throat> of True Father's birthday. It was some of the posters were there, more the UPF posters, were there all the time. So people come and say, oh, who is this? Oh, yeah, they let, we could explain, we could easily talk about who is our founders and it's no problem. Actually, it's for most, most, most people, it is no problem anymore yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah this is how we yeah this is also a challenge it's also also a spiritual challenge because you always have to somehow be an organization but in the end we have to cover a wide range of 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 i feel also duty towards the people that haven't sent us people are sent to us yeah. because the, the spiritual background they know whom they want to be connected with yeah Okay. Sorry. Sorry, I may, I may have me. to go soon as well. Yeah. Okay. I think we have really covered all the uh, subjects. Have we? Is there anything else that we would like to uh, touch upon? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lily's issue is. Uh, much bigger is so fundamental touching to other the technical issues is large also i think one time i uh, i said here uh, about organizing a team for um, a technical team uh, basically to an art and design team to do all our um, for for our events all the um, uh, posters and everything and at the same time be assisting for the for the technical side of the um, the virtual events now of course the virtual events are getting less and less uh, so perhaps at the european eu me level there isn't any uh, need anymore uh, if uh, in france or here in the middle east we meet we can deal by it ourselves. But uh, yeah. Mm. Okay, anything else? No. All right, so thank you very much. We thank covered. You. Thank you. <laughs> we covered two and a half Have hours, nice ladies. <laughs> Have a nice bye. day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for your bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.